Narcissists come into your life like weeds growing alongside of you. They threaten to absorb all of your nutrients. They take over your soil. They block the sunshine from your life, threatening to choke you out so that you wither away and die. But this time right here, this moment right now, this is a time of separation. This is a time where the good wheat in this world and in this life, meaning you, are being separated from the weeds, the narcissists. I'm gonna share with you the ancient principle or the parable of the wheat and the tares. My name is Kevin and this is The Royal We. And before I get into this message, I wanna let you know that I'm here for your support. Down in the description box, you'll find access for one-on-one -on -one appointments. In addition to that, I have a new life coaching program. The new life coaching program is me teaching every single day, Monday through Friday, for an entire month that's only $49. I encourage each and every one of you to get involved in the new life coaching program, especially those of you who are trying to start a brand new life. The first person who registers now for the new life coaching program will get a free one-on-one -on -one appointment as a bonus with me. Now, we're talking about the ancient parable of the wheat and the weeds. This is a parable that was given to us by Jesus out of the New Testament of the Bible. And as the parable goes, a farmer had sowed good seed in the soil. The good seed was that of wheat. What is wheat? Wheat is used for nutrition. Wheat is used to feed people. Wheat is desirable, it's good. Guess what, so are you. You are wheat in this life. The good that was planted in you and you being planted in this world for a good purpose, to feed people, to give people something nutritious, to be used for glory, that's you. The joy you bring, that's you. And then as the parable goes, the evil one then came in late at night and sowed weeds along with the wheat. This is the evil one who brings narcissists into your life or narcissism into your life. Now this can come in the form of your family members. It can come in the form of people you work with. It can come in the form of friends, people who call themselves friends, but really have selfish ill intentions. It can come in the form of in-laws. It can come in the form of your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister. It doesn't matter. But these people's intentions are not good. These are the weeds that are now, have been growing alongside of you for the past 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, for some of you, 30 years. And the sole purpose of those weeds is to do what? Absorb your nutrients, take up your soil, take up your space, block the sun out of your life so that you cannot grow, so that you cannot reach your full potential as wheat, as something good, as something nutritious in this world. And so as the parable goes, as Jesus is talking about this parable, the farmer's servants came to him and said, let's go and get the weeds out now before they grow together. Let's go pull them out. And the farmer in the parable said, no, 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 no. Let them grow for a period of time. And then we will separate them at the time of harvest. Two things to pay attention to here. Why would Jesus say, let them grow together for a period of time? Well, he said, so that you don't rip the good wheat up with the bad. What does this mean? The length of time that you've been with a narcissist was the length of time that you needed in order to see the clear difference between you and them so that you understand the difference between your purpose and their purpose in the world. So you understand the difference between who you are and who they are without having that experience, without having the weeds growing alongside of you, you would never even fully understand the full potential that you have, all the nutrition that you have, all the love that you have to give, all the greatness that you are, the glory that you are in this life would not have even been realized had the weed not grown alongside of you and given you that clear difference, right? When both the weeds and the wheat are small, seedlings, it's hard to tell the difference. So this is why Jesus said in the parable, let them grow together. So that at the time of harvest, you will see the clear difference between the two. And then you can bundle up 
as the story goes on, you can bundle up the weeds and burn them. And you can bundle up the wheat and use it for good. Now, it's also important to understand that in the parable, according to the story, Jesus said, wait till the time of harvest. That's when we will separate the two, the time of harvest. What is the time of harvest? This is the time of harvest. The time of harvest is right now. The time of harvest is your awakening moment. The time of harvest is this moment that we're living in. A lot of people think that in the parable that Jesus is giving, that the time of harvest is some far off date when Jesus comes back. No, 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 no. The time of harvest is this moment right here when you're awakened to the reality of the abuse in your family, the dysfunction in your workplace, the narcissism that surrounds you. This is the time of harvest. This is the time where you are being identified as wheat, where you are being identified and marked as something not like the narcissist. This is what it means. This is the harvest that we're living in right now. Now, a lot of you might be having a hard time with this, saying this is the time of harvest. That means I, this is the time I need to be separated from my narcissistic family. Yes, this is the time I need to separate from my narcissistic uh, uh, co-workers. Yes, this is the time I need to let go of my narcissistic friends. Yes, this is the time of separation. The harvest is now, don't wait. 12, 15, 20 years when you think that Jesus or the God is going to rip the sky open and come down on chariots of fire or whatever you believe, understand that the time of harvest is your awakening moment. That is the time of harvest for your life. And don't miss it. Don't fail to get out at the time of harvest because otherwise you will stay attached to the weeds in your life and they will continue then to choke you out, absorb your nutrients, take up your soil, and you'll never be effective. You will never live out your purpose of being wheat. You don't wanna miss the time of harvest. You don't wanna miss the time of separation. Right now, many of you watching know what I'm talking about. You know that you need to be separated from these people in your life. Many of you are afraid to but this is the time of separation. This is the time of harvest. The harvest is now. And right now, people are being separated. Wheat and tares, wheat and weeds. And it's not up to you and me to decide right now what happens to the weeds or even what you're going to go on to do. All we need to know is that you're being separated right now. We are in a process of separating the weeds from the tares. As I said before, I am here for your support. And yes, I've even been out here walking around in the rain, soaking wet right now. It wasn't supposed to rain, but it did anyways. <laughs> That's the Midwest for you. It'll just start raining on you out of nowhere. But this was an important message. I wanted to get it out to you. And it's, it was raining hard. Actually, look, check this out. This is my, some, some B-roll. I want you to see how bad it was raining just a moment ago. Check this out. Your awakening to narcissistic abuse, this is the time of separation between you and the narcissist, which is exactly like the story of the wheat and the weeds, or the wheat and the tares. Let's talk about this story and how it relates to you. My name is Kevin, and this is the Royal We. Yeah, I wanted to get this message out to you. Listen, as I said, I'm here for your support. Down in the description box, you'll find access for one-on-one -on -one appointments. In addition to that, I do have the New Life Coaching Program. The New Life Coaching Program is everyday teaching, Monday through Friday. There's replay available. A whole month is only $49. I encourage you to get involved in that right now for those of you trying to start a brand new life. And I'll be back with more videos for you right here on The Royal We.